This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael, and I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Valerie and Her Week of Wonders, a surreal coming-of-age fantasy horror drama from Czech director Jeremiel Jerez, made back in 1970. Obviously, it follows a young girl named Valerie as she finds herself faced with a number of worldly and otherworldly friends and enemies. From a thief who may be her brother, to a priest who is also a predator, to a constable known as the Polecat, who is actually a vampire that has seduced her grandmother. As Valerie fights back against the constable's power, the lines between fantasy and reality continue to blur until the entire world becomes like a dream to her. On paper, the story is pretty clearly benched in horror and fantasy elements, with the danger and stakes against Valerie growing with every scene, and her wits and some magic items as her only protection. It leans more into fantasy with its rather dreamlike approach to its storytelling and the rather casual treatment of vampirism and magic by its characters, who seem to think what goes on is something completely natural or normal, as if nothing odd were actually happening, which could be further explained as though what we see is how Valerie perceives the world around her, though this idea is never made explicit. The underlying subtext of the story, however, is much easier to pick up on as the film continues, though it's also pretty clear from the beginning. The various characters that Valerie meets throughout the film almost all seem to have some romantic or physical attraction to her, despite having only just turned 13 although that in itself feels symbolic of the general shift from childhood to adulthood. In any case, it's a notion that is pretty rampant across the film and bleeds into the story at times, with the idea of youth and beauty becoming a theme between Valerie and her grandmother. Valerie, meanwhile, doesn't seem to be aware of the darker nature and intentions of the adults around her, clinging to some innocence that is always under threat, or something to that effect. In any case, Valerie and her week of wonders certainly keeps to its dark fantasy tone, both in its story and within its visuals as well. Despite the rural setting and its bright sunlight and natural color tones, all of which make this world inviting and approachable, if a bit sterile, it masks the actual evils of the world, which comes through the villain figures, who similarly put on a front of their own to hide their intentions. The technical elements of the film continue to heighten the dreaminess of the setting, with cinematography that generally presents the world from her direct point of view, if not close to it, or from a bird's eye perspective that keeps her and us on the edge of events observant of stuff that won't always be fully understood. It's reflective of the dreamlike tone present within the story, sharing new information with no context and letting it play out as if it were always the case. Overall, though, it's more effective at showing the world as Valerie sees it, one that's fraught with dangers she can't fully understand yet and filled with those who see her as someone more mature than she actually is, though obviously not so dangerous that she can't conquer whatever obstacles and enemies are thrown her way. Valerie and Her Week of Wonders Jeremel Jiresh, 1970 Four stars. I'd say it's worth giving a watch sometime. That's it for the review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I should probably warn you that when it comes to the parts where Valerie is the eye of attention from others, things can get weird. So don't make this a family movie night movie. Unless your family is kind of messed up. If that's the case, you probably have bigger issues to worry about.